The main problem in aplastic anemia is myeloid myeloid stem cell problem okay this is the main problem in aplastic anemia myeloid stem cell problem there is a problem in myeloid stem cells like antigenic antigenic alteration alteration in myeloid stem cells so a result as a result of this antigenic alterations in myeloid stem cells this lead to activation of T cells so T cells become activated T cells become activated to attack myeloid stem cells okay or to distract myeloid stem cells by releasing of cytokines or cytokines okay this is usual this is usually the problems so the main problem main problem in a plastic anemia is myeloid stem cells as a result of this problem which is myeloid stem cells now you will have a problem with the following if you will if you have problem with white blood cells that's mean you will have infection so the clinical feature of the patient will be will be all manifested as fever if you will have a problem with the platelets that mean platelets that mean you will have the clinical manifestation is an increasing B, an, an increasing pt which is by lab and clinical features will lead to the bleeding and finally if you will have problem with the red blood cells itself that means it will manifest it as normocytic anemia okay these are the clinical features of hypoplastic anemia what else clinical features if all of these three constituents become damaged that will lead to the pancytopenia pancytopenia by the way whenever you will see pancytopenia in any patient that means it is bone marrow problem okay it is bone marrow problem in this case bone marrow problem which is myeloid stem cell problem if there is myeloid stem cells problem what other things you will see in the lab tests i will make lab tests by the blue so this is lab this is the first things in the blood film you will see pancytopenia what other things you will see in a blood test also you will see if you if you have stem cells so there is no stem cells okay so as a result of this could you tell me what the bone marrow will look like so the bone marrow will be hypocellular okay so the bone marrow will be hypocellular bone marrow actually the bone marrow the bone marrow look, looks like biopsy in bone marrow look like this so there is fat globules all over the bone marrow you will not see cells maybe you will see here a little bit of lymphocyte here and there here and there but most of the bone marrow will be hypocellular and bone marrow are largely replaced by adipose cells okay what else are the result of this so no stem cells hypocellular bone marrow as a result of hypocellular bone marrow could you tell me the reticulocyte count now do you think the retic reticulocyte count count will be decrease or increase remember reticulocyte count increase in case of hemolytic because of destruction while if you have bone marrow problem already so you'll have decreased reticulocyte count okay so now what do you think the causes which are responsible for alteration or antigenic alterations in myeloid stem cells though what are the what are the possible causes or what are the possible risk factors actually you can put three major one first put in your mind the drugs i will tell you the story of a pf a bay baby or a baby who took a drug for certain reason let us say he had meningitis and took a drug and after he took this drug he became blue and with mild cyanosis so and the baby also suffered from difficult maybe to be arousable so some cns manifestations so this drug will be which is the most um, and manifested sorry and the same baby manifested in the bloodstream as decreased reticulocyte count and pancytopenia so what is this drug this drug will be chloramphenicol this is the most important drug cause the drug causes of aplastic anemia 
So again, baby taking chloramphenicol or a child taking chloramphenicol suffered from blue baby syndrome, which is mild cyanosis, and also suffered from aplastic anemia. Toxic chemicals in industry and agriculture like benzene. So the other cause is toxic chemicals. Okay, toxic chemicals. What are the third causes? The third causes is infection like hepatitis C virus, like EBV virus, CMV virus, parvovirus. So you will put CMV, EBV, and, and parvovirus. I need to talk about a subcategory of aplastic anemia called um, pure red blood cell aplasia. This is usually seen in two associations. First, when you will see this term, pure red blood cells aplasia, that means white blood cells and platelet counts are normal, but there is a problem only with red blood cells. You will put in your mind two things. Either you will have problem with will, the cause will be parvovirus, okay, I or thymoma, this is important, thymoma, okay, when you will see this stem in the test, a pure red blood cells aplasia or a platelet count, white blood cells count or normal, or just you have problem with the red blood cells, that's mean you will either have parvovirus or thy thymoma as a cause for pure red blood cells aplasia. Okay, finally, what are the treatment choices or treatment options for aplastic anemia? Immunosuppressant immuno, it is two, two measures actually, immunosuppressant therapy, immunosuppressant therapy like anti-thymocyte, anti-thymocyte, globulin, okay, again, uh, cyclosporin and cyclophosphamide. Okay, this, this is the first, this is immunosuppressant therapy. The idea of this usually dealing with the myeloid stem cells problem as antigenic problems, I'm not sure the exact mechanism of how these drugs act, but just keep in your mind, antithymocyte globulin is important, is usually important answer in case of a plastic anemia patients. Also, another modality of a treatment is bone marrow transplant. Usually, bone marrow transplant has a good response if patient is young and compatible blood donor. Usually, if young is has a good response for the patients. So again, now let's make some summary. Uh, some summary about a plastic anemia. Usually, put in your mind the main problem is myeloid stem cells. Okay, so this is first as a result of myeloid stem cells. The three blood the three. The three components of a blood will be affected, white blood cells, platelet, red blood cells, so manifested clinically as pancytopenia, bone marrow problems in bone marrow biopsy, you will have fat globule, globules, you will have here fat globules replace the bone marrow, and you will have mild mass or scattered lymphocyte here and there, is here and there distributed between fatty globules. As a result of bone marrow problem, you will have decreased reticulocytes, so reticulocytopenia. What are the causes or important risk factors responsible for all of these scenarios? Usually drugs, chloramphenicol, toxic chemicals, infection, CMV, EBV, pure red blood cells aplasia usually see in parvovirus and thymoma. Treatment usually immunosuppressive therapy or bone marrow transplant has good response in young patients.